So here we have Steve, who is doing a one-to-one -one workshop with me today, uh, appropriately distanced, and he's brought a San Jose juniper that uh, he did with me some years ago. Can you just say something about it, Steve? Yes, um, my wife and I came here for a weekend course, and you pulled this uh, juniper out and and. I learned how to do the wiring and we planted it in this and I've been nursing this tree now for about 15 years. Oh, that's a long time and it's grown a lot. Yes. Has it thickened in trunk? It must have yes, taken quite a lot. Yes, it has. So the trunk is very nice. It's got a lot of branches. If you can just turn it around slowly for us. Let's have a look. So what do you like about this tree and what don't you like about this tree? Because you want to improve it in some way, don't yes. you? Well, I really like the curved trunk. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you suggested right from the very beginning when as, uh, it was in a little uh, pot, you looked at it for about 30 seconds and you said, well, let's plant it sideways and you actually Tilted. Tilted yeah. the uh, So it's got a slant. Yeah. And so it, that, and that's really been a really nice uh, feature. S-shape, yeah. So I like the, the curve thing, but um, it's a, and I've been trying to make the pads, but I haven't been able to get an apex going and the, I don't know, it just, it's not, it's not completely, you know, okay. uh, talking to me. So my critique of this tree, pardon me, me if I'm, seeming to be critical uh, you've got to be critical to improve it yes um, the apex is too weak there's no crown there yeah. and some of the branches below they are really like sacrificial branches yes. they're much too thick yeah. so there's a mixture of thin branches and thick branches yeah. this one is a very thick branch yep. other ones are thin and then you've got another thick branch there yeah. so they look a bit incongruous yeah. now there's always scope for improving any tree. There is no such thing as a tree that you can't improve. So um, when we want to improve the tree, we've got to look again as to what we prefer to use as the trunk. So what is your preferred front at the moment? Well, I had I'd said that, let's see, yeah, uh, this was my preferred front. Okay, as it is. Yeah. Okay, but I was looking at the other side. If you turn right. it around for me kindly. So this is the other side, which is more open. Yeah. So this is also another front. So these are the two possible fronts that we looked at initially. Right. And we can think of something, maybe do something to the apex. But as with all projects, you've got to think what we say outside, outside the box, the box yeah. in order to get uh, a satisfactory uh, outcome. So the way I was looking at it, I was thinking that if we maybe change the front, but still have an interesting line yeah. to the tree, it would turn out much better. Also, I want to hide somehow the very thick branches. Yeah. So, and you're saying hide them, not take the thick branches off? May not off. take it off or partly take it off. If we have to, we may do a bit of gin to it yeah. uh, and deal with the apex somehow so that it is not so obvious like that little bit sticking up. Yeah. That is not really a nice apex. Yeah. Maybe we can make this the yeah, apex. Yeah, we can make that the apex. Yeah. So if I look at the tree from here, I still get a very interesting trunk line. Uh, a very subtle trunk line. I'm looking at the tree now from here. That would come out quite nice. So we're going to do something with it. 
Okay. So that I can remember what I'm working from. So we're going to change the front because the existing front, whether it's this side where you can see a very pronounced S shape or this side makes the tree look very flat and very wide. I want to slightly uh, tighten the tree and when I say tighten the tree I'm going to still have a very interesting curve to the trunk but the tree won't look so wide. So looking at the tree I can still find a very interesting S shape over here. You can still see the S shape there and by widening this I can still open up the branches. Okay now I see something in the way so I'm going to take this one off first. I'm going to little uh, leave little stubs for gins. So I'll that one. probably unwire most of the trees and wire again so just by removing that one branch I've now got view of the very nice S shape if I can part this one out like this it will look quite nice and I'm not sure about this branch there are certain branches which are very thick there are two branches in fact which are thick this branch and this branch which is very they're both too thick and if I keep the branches the same thickness, I may get more balance to the tree. So if I wire this and this, okay, this is very thick. I'm now going to take this off. So to take that off, I'm just going to make a gin with that. I could gin the whole thing, but I think the whole thing would be so nice. So. Let's do a short gin, so we're going to cut that off. And then we're going to make a short gin like so. Slanting cut there. I'm going to just break it off. much in case I don't end up with much gin I have to take about a half of 50% now it may be easier to break it that's right and then we pull it off rather than just cut it off open the tree out. The front is going to, still going to be here, so I'm going to mark the front. The front is now going to be somewhere here. Okay, so I now remember to look at the tree from this direction. So we're going to pull these branches out like that. This branch is a bit too low, so we won't need that. I don't like to use too many gins in case it becomes a bit repetitive. So let's... Gins here and there are nice, but to have the entire tree with gin doesn't look so nice. So we're going to part these and wire that off. 
So straight away you can see that lovely, very subtle S shape going that way. So we're going to rewire these branches like that. Uh, there's lots of branches, but we don't need them all. So we will just wire some of this. In fact, I'm going to get Steve to do it because he's here for the workshop. So I'm going to get him to do some wiring. Uh, I will unwire some of the branches that were done previously because we're going to restyle it in a different way. So let's do it from scratch. So unfortunately, what you used, we will undo. This branch, I'm not sure we need this one. It so served its purpose as a... Uh, served yeah. sacrificially, yeah. taken the trunk. Yeah. Very often we got to remind ourselves that in bonsai, this less is more principle is very important. Yeah. So don't be too greedy and keep using all the branches that are in sight. As you say, it's done its job. We don't need it to do anymore. So we will be, okay, let's see if we have a little gin. It may be a bit interesting. If we don't like it, we can remove it later. find this later. So this is still the front. So we're going to open these out so that mm -hmm. it makes it nice and wide. These can be used. This can be used. Okay, so why don't you begin by wiring these two branches? is important. Okay, so we're going to wire these two. So I'm going to take it around the trunk and get you to do it. Wire it up to this point because it is thinner there. Okay. So I'll just measure the wire for you and then you'll do it. It's about right there. Yeah, take it to the end. So I don't need to worry about getting, I don't want to cover those up because that's where you can get the pad, no? Yeah, just avoid it. Mm -hmm. So I'll maybe to this one here. Yep. So we can see that very subtle S shape all the way to the top. There's a very thin branch there, which we may keep or may lose. I think we can keep it. It may develop. Don't have to remove everything. So all we've done is really removed uh, about three or four branches. This is all we've removed so far. Four. That's all we've removed. And we're going to now create this is the apex, and we've got to see what we're going to do with that. Okay. In fact, just doing that has altered the tree completely. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we've now got the tree with this as the front, lovely S shape. We've got to think what we do with the old apex. This is going to be the new apex. We can deal with that one. And then there's a problem here with this long branch, which was there previously. 
what to do with it. I think we can gin that if you wish. We don't need all of it. So if we remove some of the foliage there, and we will turn that into a gin. I just find that wire. I like to save some of the wires. You really have to be uh, unsympathetic, uh, right? Uh, be bold. Be, be bold. bold. Peter Chan, bold. Be bold. <laughs> but you, you're bold after you've decided what you're doing. You got yes. to know what you're doing. Yeah. But again, what I want to emphasize is that you've got to think radically. Just because you've done it in a certain way in the past, or the design was done like that, it doesn't mean you can't reinvent the design. You yeah. can always transform it. Yeah. So I've shortened that branch. The tree was much too wide, so yes. I've tightened the whole thing. So we come back to the front of the tree now. You see how much tighter the tree is yes. compared to its original design. Yes. So all we've done is remove branches. I haven't done any new wiring or anything. Uh, I've got to probably create the apex properly. Now, to do the apex, I could either remove all the old bits. So, if we look closely, we stand up and have a look. I could make this the apex and gin all this. This could be ginned and make this the apex. That could be quite interesting. Yes, that would what be do you nice. Think, huh? Yeah, yeah. Gin top, so yeah. we will remove the wires. Okay. And we will gin it. I'll get you to do some gin practice. So let me quickly okay. remove the wire for you. Usually junipers, if you go to desert places like in Arizona, you find some of these trees that have the tops die. The roots are not able to pump the water up to the top. So the tops invariably die on some trees. So this is the sort of image we are trying to create with this tree. So let's create a new apex. Now I've used a branch, I think it was like a number two branch to make the apex. So what was a branch is going to be used as the new apex. Okay, so let's get rid of this. So I'm going to do a bit of rewiring. Okay, so if you take a low shot, please, Steve. So this is going to be the new apex over here. Mm -hmm. So the tree is going to be here. We could utilize that to bring it down, although it's higher than the apex, to have it as a, a side branch mm. and just gin that top. So we may not need to do anything too radical. So we're going to wire these two branches yeah. to create that effect. And are we thinking too of of wiring yes, these so that they yes. so that they yeah. they kind of like droop yeah, down. That's right. So that's not an old wiring to take off. So it's probably the right time to take some of the wires off because they are biting a bit. Although I'm never too worried about wire marks on the tree because they they tend to have a purpose. Add some character to the, yeah, some character gnarled, to the gnarled look. So this is going to be the apex. We're taking yeah. this up and then take this and take that one down so and gin that two, one. Yeah, and then just gin the third little bit. So if I start it off for you, I get it to complete the wiring because the apex is a bit thin here. No. Okay, 
Let's see if we provide a bit of an anchor. I find that sometimes when a person is the owner of the tree, you are so familiar with the tree that it's very hard to think uh, radically. Yeah. So you always need someone else to point it yeah. out to you. So Second pair of eyes. Yeah, that's right. Second opinion. What I've been doing to trim it is I've been using just my fingers to pull off will, the tips. I will explain something about it because sometimes if you pull with the fingers, that can cause browning as well. So it's not always that wise to use the fingertips. Okay, now I'm going to take this up if you take okay. a look up here. This is going to be the new apex. I'm taking that up a bit mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring this down like so. a little bit like that. Okay, now this you are going to gin. So you take the wires up and I'll now get you to do the gin. Okay. So the gin you begin by taking the foliage off and leave as many of these fine little branches as possible. Just cut the green off and give you a pair of scissors. And then you enjoy doing the gin. So you're thinking... Not, Just this bit, from here. Right. Yes. So it would Not gin to about right here? No, all the way. So gin... Oh, I see all the entire that, branch. All ah. the tiny little bits. Okay. So you just cut the foliage off. Even these very tiny twigs, when you remove the bark, it will look quite interesting. So with the gin pliers, I'll now give the gin pliers to you. You crush okay. the bark and you can take it off. Okay, so crush, crush the bark. From right there? Yeah. Like you that? See, that comes away. Can yeah. you see how it's Yeah. Yeah, just do it all the way to the top. And then just do the same yeah, thing. So that's what the gin pliers are used for. And off of all the sides? Yeah, yeah. Just go to the top. Even the very tiny little twigs at the top. See, so this is what achieve this sort of effect. So now it's got an apex and that little subtle bit of gin looks very nice. So the front is really like here. So those long branches, long thick branches that we cut off, we didn't want it there. So we've yeah. tightened the tree up. Yeah. We've tightened it all around. So what we now need to do is wire some of these to make it hang down. Yep. That can hang down, this can hang down. 
So, I'll get you to do some wiring. Right, now we've got an interesting situation where you got to ask yourself, do you need this branch or not? Mm. Are you happy taking it off? Again, you know, if we had the white card uh, bag trick, you can see with or without. What, what about taking this one off and okay, take, do that. that one down? Just take that off, cut the back one. Good idea. Very good idea. And then, yeah, making it go down or just straight. It's straight, out of the just, way. But, See, but, because we are there, there's a gap here we don't yeah, want to hide. Right. Okay. okay. And that would be paired with. With that one here, or you can, or this, no, or you can pair it with the top one, with this, or one. Part, pair it with the gin at the back, with that, this, this one, pair it with, with this one, with that one, yeah, okay, you can pair it with that one, okay. Horizontal is fine. And then, is there a way to twist the branch so it, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, so it say it lays flat, yeah. right? Now these two also need to be wired. These two, so that it goes slightly yeah. down. Link those two together. And this one needs to go down too, right? Not too much. That's okay. And that's okay. Let's so just these do two. Those two. The anchor. Yeah. Make sure you leave adequate wire for each branch. Did you check yep. that first? Yep. Okay, yeah. Sometimes you put too little on one and too much on the other. There we go. When it comes to pruning junipers, I always tell people to use this branch. Never shear across like that. Never do that. You always go into the wood, the stem, and take it off from there. So that's what you've got to do, into the stem and take it out. Don't shear across the foliage. Mm -hmm. So where there is too much like that, I will go in there and take that off. So you've got to be very carefully. So I'm trying to form a pad. So anything growing upwards, I'm trying to discourage so that it's going to be directed flat. So take your time and you do it to all. Anything pointing down, if it's not a branch, you can cut it off. If it's a branch, you can always wire it flat. So some of these, if they're too long, that go in there and take it off. So that's what you've got to do to the entire tree. That'll take some time, but that's how you would prune it. So now we have now more or less done this whole tree. It hasn't taken much time, so We've changed the look of this tree. It's become more compact rather than spreading. Before it was spreading out this way, that mm -hmm. way. There was one tick branch here, another tick branch there. Uh, we can still look at the tree like this and it can still be nice, isn't it? If you want to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in this hexagonal pot. But my preferred front is still somewhere there. But as I say, you can use whichever front. But the other thing I want to point out is that sometimes people don't always like very low branches. So you can always, I wouldn't do it personally, but you can just see the effect. You see, if you don't have those, you can still have a very nice looking tree mm -hmm. with the branches high. Yes. So these are the options you can consider. You see? So even, see like that, you can see the trunk like that and like that. So, then that seems options. unbalanced. Yeah. But, uh, what about shortening this yeah, branch? What I was going to do, yeah. and rather than shorten it, I'm going to bring it back on itself like that. Ah, okay. Rather than cut it off. Yeah. Right? So you've got to put a, put a bit of wire and wire it back on itself. Yeah, to make a nice thick pad. Yeah, yeah. all right? So yep. you don't have to always cut it off. Yep. Okay? Okay, we got you to do it. We can stop it. Okay. Okay, so...
So another thing you learned. Thing you're learning lots. Okay, so do that. Turn that. So now we're going to brush the trunk. Brush it quite hard. You find it turn pink. You see the red color underneath. Can you see? Oh yeah. yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. Across the whole yeah. thing. And that's not going to. That's uh, what you need to do once a year or so. Oh, okay. Don't expose too much of the live wood, but just a shade of the red was been on. Sometimes on really old trees, you need to use a pen knife to take the flake, flaky bark off. So the desire did, is to have a, a kind of a mahogany colored. That's right. Cinnamon color, yeah. Yeah, it's coming. See a nice red color. Try not to expose too much of the white bit to that. Just the red. Yeah, anything going obviously upwards, downwards. What about this whole now let yeah. it grow more. I think you need to f so go like a dome, yeah. very tight dome, before yeah. you had nothing. So if you keep doing that, you'll end up with just a stick sticking up in the air, yeah. which you don't want. You want to need it to get it tight. But I want it to grow yeah, more much here, more. right? Don't, yeah, don't keep trimming the top. What then, about this end? No, don't touch the top. Let it grow into a nice round pad. Don't touch anymore. Don't, don't yeah. do anymore. If anything is the bottom, you can do it. Not, you okay. want a nice rounded top. Okay, mm -hmm. and here. Um, no, I leave it down. So, leave? Yeah. Just leave it alone then? Yeah. You know? So, as I said, some of these, San Jose especially, has two types of foliage, the adult and juvenile. Mm -hmm. And if you keep pruning too much, you'll get a lot of <clears throat> the juvenile, which is the prickly foliage. Yeah. If you leave it alone and don't repot too often, you will get a nice the adult, adult there. Scale likes. I will show you one tree now. I'll take you out. This is a very old San Jose juniper. It's only partly style, but I'm just showing you. You look at the adult foliage there. There's traces of the juvenile, the prickly foliage, but if you don't repot too often, you will get the adult foliage on the entire tree. So, this is the trick with these junipers not to repot too often and don't prune too hard. So it's nice when you get the other foliage throughout the tree. It does come. Okay. So there you go. So we have one final look. Steve, if you turn the tree around, we we'll let's see. The way we've now styled it. You said this it is be the front. Yeah, where the marker is. So that yeah. is the my preferred front, but the way it's turned out, it looks nice on every side. If you keep rotating it this way, you see even this side is quite nice. Even this side is quite nice. Yeah, over there it's quite nice. You can always develop a new leader, but essentially what we've done is tightened it very considerably. So all those long branches, the two long branches we reduced a lot in length and on some of them we have taken the thing back like this one you see instead of going forward we've taken it back on itself see this also we've taken it back on itself rather than shooting straight out we've taken it back like that so we've changed this tree character we'll take a before and after so are you pleased with it i'm very pleased okay thank you peter you learned a lot yes so what a did lot. you learn what's a 
Less, <laughs> less is more. Okay. Be bold. Good. Even if it means cutting off yeah. uh, a branch that you've been nursing yeah. for years and years. Yeah. If it makes sense, do it. Yeah. Uh, I've learned about doing gins. Yeah. I've learned about brushing the bark, which I haven't done yeah. on this one. Mm -hmm. And you've told me about uh, pruning lightly so as to encourage the adult foliage. Yeah. So there's no need to repot this, certainly not, not for another three years. Yep. Okay, and if you see it going slightly yellow, then put fertilizer and it'll stay green. Okay, right. so I hope you enjoyed this one. I did. Thank okay. you. Thank you.